back to my channel. Today we are in Masai Land. Excited to discuss goat farming with you guys. about farming we are here to inspire you to inform you to let you know anything and everything you need to know about farming we thank you for subscribing and for sharing these videos so let's get straight to it so goat farming as you can see they're usually color white but they can be um, done zero grist especially the new types of grits that are a bit foreign but the traditional Maasai ones that are usually used for open pasture are the ones that we are going to discuss today why they are sweet and most preferred is because of <laughs> let me give you this short story so long time ago as the colonialists were laying down the railway line they realized that most of the indians who were their middle level managers because the africans were doing now the manual labor then the white people are obviously the supervisors and senior level management then the indians were there in the middle that they would find that when they were laying the railway line especially in the server that the lions would come and hunt the indians only they would leave out the black people who were lying around they probably did even sleep in a shelter they just slept on the railway side as they wait for the morning and start working again but the indians who are probably in a, some kind of a campsite or something like that the the man eaters which is in the kenya museum you should get to know this story would specifically go and hunt for the indians and why did they do that because indians are known to have a very flavor Flavorful menu, very flavorful um, food culture, and that includes herbs and spices. And so, why we love these goats? It's because <laughs> they go munching on the trees, they eat on the tree barks, they look for herbs and and specific things, specific weeds on the roots. They are scavengers, and they can cause the certification. Just to let you know, but because of that ability to go um, looking for food everywhere and anywhere, and they are very curious, it makes their food very 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 taboo and it's ideal for nyamachoma so i know you guys want to know how much does one go for how long does it take for it to, to mature goat farming is one of the ways that you can do if you have a lot of open space of land as you can see here where i am the grass is quite tall it's actually my knee size and this is good for goat really because remember animals as long as they are ruminants have at least three or four stomachs which means they want to have a lot of rabbit so that they can chew cut so don't think that giving your goats this kind of grass you're punishing them this is what they enjoy so majority of their feed should be rabbit and then eventually you go incorporating proteins and then some greens so some of the protein sources you can get are from things like lucerne and uh, dairy meal or some of the shops um uh, powdered foods that you can get from the shops but believe me most of it they will get it from the open pastures another great idea why we love um, goat meat is that it's almost um, very little cholesterol compared to other red types of meat i didn't say it doesn't have any cholesterol it has cholesterol and it can be insensitive to people who have heart diseases but compared to other red meat this is the best this is the healthiest <laughs> and because it has all those um medicinal value that it can be incorporated by what the animal ate it can be very good for you another thing is uh, goat milk farming uh so most of the people who are specializing in that are specializing in breeds like togenberg um nubian african boa those kinds of breeds which are imported from outside and usually they like being zero grace they don't like this harsh climates that you must expose them compared to the other ones for um that are going around looking for pasture so these ones are ideal for milk farming and goat milk happens to have a very high value in the market it goes for up to about 200 shillings per liter because it's also very rare and it's good for people who have allergies and sometimes who are lactose intolerant it can also be value added into a 
million things it can make very good yogurt very good skin oil <laughs> for you know for dry skin because it has high high levels of fat which are good and absorbed by the skin without too much allergies and too much problems so goat farming is the way to go if you have open land if you have a family that has some spare land somewhere and you're wondering i already have a job i already have a desktop in nairobi but wangare is here to tell you you can still have a side hustle that will multiply on its own and it will kinda it has very minimal expenses in terms of care and it, because it's already hard in itself and it can consume anything basically that um, is growing on the land another way that you can make money is through getting your grass built a lot of trucks are coming to Kitengela right now because there is a lot of animal farmers who don't have feet. So the people who secure their land and make sure no one is tampering with the land can cut it and bail it up and sell it to the people who are staying in um, arid areas. So that's another income for yourself. Another reason why we love goat farming so much is because it's entwined into our culture. We are using it for dowries. It can be used to pay bright price. It's also a ceremonial meal. If you go to someone nakuna sherehe, there is no sherehe without goats. And that's why we love them. And that makes it have very high demand. And for us to meet that demand, we need to be, have more farmers who are doing this. And simply it, has, it can become a very effortless venture for you. Another reason why we do it is because traditionally men, especially in the Kikuyu society, can be used to, uh, to show a rite of passage. It's called Boria Kiyama, which is given as a ritual for other men when they are turning to become elders. That's why we love goats so much. I hope you love goats. Do you take goats? Why don't you like goats? Please let me know in the comments below. And you can find a video here in the link here or somewhere here to tell you more about the sheep farming and the cow farming. This season we are doing Nyama Choma and the sources of Nyama Choma in our community. For subscribing to this video i hope you share it i hope you enjoy it let me know in the comments what you think of it at least let's go growing together i'm here for you guys and let me know what else i can shoot on the next one so thank you guys see you on the next one